have to wake us up so early. Ah. Uh, I don't know, but he sure is rude to do such a thing. Quit being lazy, campers, and get up. I had to do this because we don't even have any alarm clocks. I mean, we could buy some, but it's better to save money by doing that. Well, dang, if you ask me, this show's kind of a waste of money. I mean, like, come on, like, where'd you get that prize from anyway? Where'd you get that rocket shit from? And and how did you buy all this? But you can't freaking buy an alarm clock. You should just do stuff on your knees instead of just doing the show for us. Well, uh, 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 you see, uh, uh, Dorian, you have a point. Oh, finally, I'll melt that hellhole. Hey, Team Grace, good to see you again. Cause wait, weren't you eliminated? Well, don't tell Jack. Um, I just wanted to come visit your guy. Jack, come here. Was it the end? Who escaped from the locker of eliminated contestants? Oh, I can't allow that. Oh, for Beanie's sake. Oh, oh my god, am I gonna stop flying in the air? Okay, contestants, we're going to the beach, so hop in my rocket ship again. want to send it to? I think we crashed on an island. I'll launch in the air, but my radar says there's something that LL help. Alright, I'm using the radar and it's beeping. Oh, I think it's in this body of water. Okay, campers, so, um, this, the second challenge is y'all must send one of y'all's team members in the water to get that thing. Oh, well, why doesn't radar go? I mean, he does have a radar, so he might find it quicker with this radar. Uh, dude, just because my name's radar doesn't mean I can detect stuff. I mean, come on, like, I, I'm not a dog who can smell stuff and detect it. And I also can't swim, and I'll get my wings wet if I try to, and I might sink, and I can't breathe underwater, so. Why don't we send bubbles down? He's a fish. Well, this looks like a job for me. According to my calculations, I think the best one on our team to go under there would be Sting, since she's marine. Oh, that's a good idea, Snort. Let's send her down. Okay, I'm going in the water. <sighs> okay, my turn. <sighs> oh my, it sure is kind of creepy in here. Oh, time to start looking. <sighs> Oh, I found it. That's that's spaceship oil. Oh my god, I'm being Sting. Sting, how could you do this? This isn't fair. Well, time to bring this up. Okay, guys, I got the spaceship oil. Thanks, Sting. Since you found the spaceship oil, your team, Grace, wins. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go put this on the spaceship to make it feel better. Hey, guys. How did you not get the oil? Well, it's a long story. It's because... No, no, because. Okay? Look, this that you, this could have been easily beaten by your fish. You can swim fast. You're good at it. Look, Sting stinged me. I found the oil, but Sting Sting me and stole it. No excuses. Hey, look, you're going to respect our team. I'm the team leader. I'm the only one who yells at people, okay? You're not going to be rude. The beginning, okay? Ugh, fine. Sure, I don't get how he lost. He literally just told you. <sighs> All right, Team Hope. We should probably vote for the beginning, cause I hate when people dis disrespect my team members. Agreed. Agreed. Well, in that case, I'm just gonna go vote for Bubbles, cause it's his fault we lost the challenge. What? It's just a little sting. Well, maybe if you felt the pain, it wouldn't be so hard. The beginning. Uh. Welcome, Team Hope to y'all's first elimination. 
So today's prize will be fidget spinners. Let's start. Smoochie is safe, so he gets a fidget spinner. Holiday Bear and Radar got zero votes respectively too, so they get fidget spinner. <laughs> oh wow, cool, I got a sharp one. <laughs> Clubby, the team captain of course, is also safe. And of course I'm giving him a sharp one because we need to respect the team leader. Millennium, despite being bland this episode, that doesn't mean you're eliminated. Who's a good boy? Well, that's Zodiac, of course. <laughs> well, of course he'd chew it like a chewed toy. But anyways, back to K-Cat State. Iggy, here's your fidget spinner, because you're sick. Oh, God, it cut me! And Legs, here's your fidget spinner. Looks like it's down to the beginning. And Bubbles, who will it be? It's the Marine and the Fuzzy. I'm not fuzzy, I'm galactic! Well, that bad attitude of yours is not getting you safe, which of course means that Bubbles is safe. And it's time to say goodbye to your team in the beginning. <sighs> Dang, I just can't get a good life. I tried being friends with the end, which failed. I, I just wanted to have a good team. And they just hate me just for being mad just a bit. Clubby was more mad. But you're mad first. Well, I'm not the one with, who looks like he put blueberry all over him. Quit acting like kids. The beginning, it's time to get launched. Well, at least I'm not the first one to get eliminated, unlike Hoot. <laughs> Say goodbye to sunlight, because it's time for dark light. Sweet dreams. Unless you're just going to hang out on there, bored. Hello. Hey. Before you tried to escape, I tried escaping once and it, it didn't work. Um, But you want to try to come up with something we can team up? Well, no. I was already rude to my team enough. Dang, I didn't know you were going to be the mean type. Huh. Well, um, this is what it's like in here. It's pretty dark. I don't like it. Well, that'll wrap it up, folks. I'll see you next time on the next episode of Tolpini Island. He'll be eliminated. Won't be the challenge. Won't even happen. Find out next time on Total Beanie Island. Can you get away from the camera? Oh, right.